Every single time that it's painful is because you didn't win the listing on your terms. Let's think about it. They didn't want to go to auction. They only want to go to for sale. They didn't want to do anything on market. They only wanted to be sold off market. They didn't want to take your guidance around price. They wanted to test it at a sky high price. They were in a position they didn't want to go exclusive. They only wanted to go general. They're in a position that ultimately they said, you know what, it's not just you, we'll get any agent. And if you can bring through the buyer, then we'll let you sell it. And what you got to realize, that's not a listing. You got to list it on your terms and you got to know what your terms really are. I love a listing that's exclusive because I've absolutely got control. I love a listing where I can have it off market whilst I need it off market and then bring it to market so I can keep a consistent number of opens every Saturday. What we've learned is that failure to launch is failure to launch your entire career. Then you want to make sure that you are getting vendor paid marketing. Every single time you put your hand into your pocket to get some funds out to pay for vendor paid marketing, ultimately they're the listings that never sell and everyone cries poor, but yet at the end of the day when they sell their property, they never ever think about the fact that they managed to get that $500 or $1,000 out of you. Your job is to actually make sure that you've got vendor paid marketing so you can position the asset to make sure that ultimately it's separated and differentiated from all of the other properties that are on the market today. You've also got to be in a position that ultimately you've got the right sale methodology. Now that might be for sale, it might be auction, but you've got a controlled sales process to actually sell that property in 28 days or less. Now I get to deal with lots of agents across the world and one of the things that I always find is that whenever they're in a position that they've got a difficult listing, it's not really a listing that they've got. What they've actually got is a liability because they haven't listed it on their terms. Your job is to make sure that you've got a minimum set of terms on what you need. We need it exclusive, we need it to be auction, it needs to be in our core area, it needs to be within where we believe the property will actually sell for. They need to have a genuine reason for selling. They need to be lovely people and they need to be paying the right fee. And if you think about those seven reasons, you need to get a minimum of five, else you can't take on the listing. And that's what great agents do. You gotta teach people how to use your time and how to use your energy. You gotta make sure they really follow the rules so that ultimately you can get the results for the work that you're really putting in. It's time to get back to a set of standards that allow you to win more listings on your terms so you can actually get the properties sold and not just have a heap of listings that never ever make it to market.